X9 out of the box, we should have our X9 model here and our, our controller on top. Okay, so open up this box here, you're going to see we have an analog controller and we have our universal toolkit. So one of the first things you want to do uh, as part of the assembly is go ahead and install our joystick here. So you notice that there is a slot here. So in this slot, we're going to push the joystick bar in. When your joystick is in, you're going to take this wire and just push it snugly up inside right underneath that handbar there. When you receive your X9, this system here, this camera system that locks your joystick in place will be fairly loose here, as you can tell. What we're gonna do is maybe give it one or two turns clockwise. So I'm gonna just turn it clockwise once around and we're gonna tighten it up. So it should be snug right here about halfway through. And if we do, we're gonna push this up and lock your joystick in place. And just repeat that for the left side. Now, if we want to charge our chair, we have to unplug this here. And here's our charger. And we have three prongs in there. And the three prongs are gonna be facing down with the third one on the bottom. And we're gonna push that in just like that. Remember, with your motors in the lock position, we can now start using our joystick here. We have a lot of controls here. We'll explain these to you as well. Here's our power button. If we turn this on, you're gonna see some lights come on. Now, this is a battery indicator light. It shows we have about a half range battery here with the orange. A full battery be into the green, but we're here with the orange battery right now. We have other buttons here, the horn. We have the speed buttons, plus or minus, so if we increase the speed by doing this, and decreasing the speed by going down. So these controls down here activate your leg controls and your back control as well. These work independently, or we can choose to use them all at the same time. So what I'm gonna do right now is activate the left leg here. When I press this button, you're gonna see it light up green going to use the joystick here to move the leg up or down. So now I'm going to activate the right leg and by pressing this button here. Now the right leg will light up green here and we have the same functionality here with the joystick. We're moving the leg up independently of the left leg and now we're moving the leg down independently of the left leg here. Okay now we're going to change the control to the back rest by pushing this button here in the middle. When we do that, there are two legs turned off and our backrest turned on green here. So the same thing applies. If we use our controller, we're gonna go ahead and lower the backrest and raise the backrest. Now, another feature of this controller here is we have the ability to group the legs with one press of the square button here, which does the both back and forth, or one more press of the square button we can group all three together. So now we have three working all together. The backrest will go down and the leg rest will rise up. 